Hello everyone, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink and here is video three in my 2016 Halloween card series. So I'm starting off with the images from this Memory Box Halloween Sideshow stamp set and I wanted to do some embossing with this WOW Glow in the Dark embossing powder that I had picked up in a recent haul. And I experimented with a tiny bit off camera and this stuff is so much fun. <laughs> so I wanted to create a card and basically just emboss everything because you guys know me, I'm, I'm all go big or go home. I can't just do one little bit. I had to do everything <laughs> with the glow in the dark embossing powder. So I started by stamping um, the main image from this set onto some white cardstock and I'm just using VersaFine Onyx Black ink because it's slow drying. So it was great for picking up this and holding onto this embossing powder while I melt it with my heat tool. I ended up stamping it three times because the first two times I didn't um, treat my cardstock with anti-static powder and you can't really see it on camera but the second image I had stamped um, the embossing powder covered everything. I must have got you know touched it with my hands. I don't you know know any better. I've been doing this for over a decade and know to use things like my anti-static powder tool and yeah so I stamped it. I treated it with my anti-static powder tool and then stamped it that third time and then coated it with the glow in the dark embossing powder and then melted it with my heat tool. And now I'm just fussy cutting these out with a little bit of a border. There is actually a die set that you can get that coordinates with the stamp set. I'll link to it. I don't have it. I don't know what I was thinking. You guys know I love having coordinating dies. It just saves me time and effort, but I don't have it for this set. So I just fussy cut out those um, two images and then I die cut a tag from the same white cardstock with um, the Simon Says Stamp large tag dies which I'm kind of obsessed with lately. I seem to use these tags on everything. So anyway, die cut the tag and then I pulled out, because I wanted to emboss everything and because this glow in the dark embossing powder is practically clear, not completely clear, but practically clear, I needed to stamp these images in color and the, some of the fun, I don't have a lot of pigment inks anymore in my stash, but these neon ones I do have and I was like, oh, this, this could be fun. So I pulled out my radiant neon ink pads and I pulled out the yellow, the green and the orange. And just started stamping some of the images from the set in these different colors of pigment ink. So I stamped a little pumpkin and this little um, centipede or worm, whatever you want to call them, and then decided to add a few stars just because I could and started coating everything with that same um, glow in the dark embossing powder and then melting it with my heat tool. So once I was done with the tag, I went on to um, make the card base itself, which is more heavyweight white cardstock. I really like the Nina 110 pound. This is what I always link to in my videos. I either use that for my card bases or I use um, my favorite things. Uh, smooth white cardstock is also a good heavyweight white cardstock. And then if you really want to go like super smooth and really heavyweight, Simon's a stamp 120 pound cardstock is fabulous. So those are my three top three favorites. So I created my card base from the white cardstock and it's just a piece, uh, eight and a half by 11 piece cut in half. So it was four and a quarter by 11 and then scored at five and a half. So it's a top folding A2 size card. And then once I figured out where I was gonna place the tag, I stamped um, the web from that set with the same VersaFine ink, coated it with the glow in the dark embossing powder and then melted it with my heat tool. So did that, it warped the card a little bit, but by the time I'm done, I'm able to kind of flatten it out again. So I wasn't too worried about it. And then for the tag to finish off, I don't like leaving. I don't know why it just bothers me if a tag doesn't have something to finish it off, either just an eyelet in it or a piece of ribbon or something. It just, when it's just there, it, it just feels unfinished to me. So I grabbed some gingham or not gingham, some grow grain ribbon for my stash. I'm not even kidding. This stuff's probably close to 10 years old. I've had it in a drawer for eons. This used to be the thing back in the day. I remember like my old Stampin' Up! days and stuff having like millions of yards of grow green ribbon. <laughs> so still have some hanging around. So pulled that out and just added um, a piece of that to the tag and I just tied it into place with a little piece of black hemp. And then I popped that tag onto my card base with some foam tape. And then for the sentiment, I thought I would experiment. I was originally gonna just stamp it and emboss it with white embossing powder because that's just my thing. You know, emboss everything with detail white on black cardstock makes it pop. But because I'm just a little bit nuts and OCD and whatever, I decided to try doing it with the same glow in the dark embossing powder. And I knew it wouldn't end up as crisp white because it's slightly transparent and white pigment ink isn't like as white as white embossing powder. But it was legible enough and decent enough that I was okay with it for this card just because it's still added to the fun element of the glow in the dark. 
So I embossed it with that glow in the dark emboss cutter and then I trimmed it down with my paper cutter. And then I just used my scissors to cut notches on each end to create little um, flag ends and then figured out how I was going to position this on the tag and on my card. So I decided to adhere the little main character just flat with some Tomo Mono Multi. And then the sentiment I popped up with some more foam tape. So once I'd done that, I pulled out some of these enamel dots that I had made in a previous video and I will have a link to this um, at the end of this video. But I'd made these with my Nouveau Crystal Drops and that was actually the main reason why I started making these was I was already mentally thinking about this card. So I pulled off a few of them from my uh, nonstick craft sheet here and laid them out on my card and then I'm just going to adhere them into place with um, little dabs of my multi-medium matte adhesive from Ranger. This is the same adhesive I use for sequins and whatnot. It's like my absolute favorite. And then I have this super fine applicator tip that I've added to the bottle and I always link to that in the supplies next to the bottle of adhesive because it is a separate purchase. And then when I get it, or when I got it, I just removed the applicator from the new bottle and screwed it onto the old one. No fiddling around with refilling bottles, nothing. Just take it off, pop it onto the original and it's good to go. So I adhered my little enamel dots there. And then to finish the inside of the card, I grabbed another sentiment from this set and I inked it up with the neon orange ink and stamped that onto the inside of the card and then adhered the little character above it. And then decided to stamp, um, the, there's a little tiny spider in this set. So I inked it up with the same Versafine Onyx Black and then stamped that below the sentiment. And then rather than just have the spider there, I just grabbed a black pen I'm just using Copic Multilining here and drew a little bit of a spider string for it to hang from. And that finished off my card. And I was actually able to turn off all the lights and film and show how this glows in the dark. And it's so much fun. How cool is this? <laughs> it's just so fun. So it just needs to be activated like any glow in the dark product. It just needs to be activated with a bright light and then it glows in the dark. So I just thought this was really fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, I will have a link below the video to my blog post with links to all the supplies used. Um, I'm gonna have my little cre end credit here that'll have links to the last two videos. So you can click on those to check them out if you miss them. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing, thumbs up and commenting on my videos. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all very soon in the next one. Bye.